My first guest is nothing less than a television legend, and it is an incredible pleasure to have her on the show. Please welcome an icon in this business, Mary Tyler Moore. And you are wonderful. Oh. You are going to make it. Thank you very much. Oh, thanks. Nice of you to say. Why, I heard you say that it may take a little while for the audience to build, for people to find you and, and join mm -hmm. in. And that was certainly true of the Van Dyke show and my show. We came that close to being canceled after Is that the true? first season. Really? Yeah. I wish that you don't have to go a whole season not knowing whether you're going to be renewed or not. And as for you, Andy, let's see what you're made of. <laughs> Job. I have a feeling that trick is going to work every time. <laughs> and I wish you better luck than this. <laughs> oh, no. I'll tell you that. I, I, do, I do want to ask you something about uh, Nick at Night has started showing the Mary Tyler Moore yeah. shows back to back, and uh, a whole new generation of people is, is coming to appreciate the show. Well, is that, what's that like? It's, it's wonderful. That it's true. Little kids, and um, including my husband, who is um, in, in, uh, years younger than I am, and who had seen the Van Dyke show as a youngster, but had never seen the Mary Tyler Moore show because he was in medical school and doing his residency. Oh. So he's seeing it sort of he for the first see it. time. He was he? Was it, he was on the moon or something? Well, he was, you know what it's like being a doctor in medical school? No, and, I don't. Well, uh, <laughs> read occasionally. Oh, okay. well, no, no, now he knows who I am, and it's really exciting. I can get anything I want. <laughs> Right. No, but do you find that that, uh, that all these people now are coming up to you who hadn't seen the show before, young people yeah, and saying... Yeah, yeah. And, and I have the feeling that they're looking at me and saying, what's different about her? Because we're dealing with shows that, you know, were in the Van Dyke Showcase anyway 30 years ago. Right, it's right. a long time to be a walking, living portrait of Dorian Gray. <laughs> No, but uh, I was, uh, of course, a TV fanatic. That's one of the reasons I'm here, I think. Yeah. That and my mother works at the NBC commissary. Ah, uh, yeah, that always works. <laughs> she got me in. But, uh, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I, when I was, I remembered very distinctly uh, an early TV memory of mine was watching the Dick Van Dyke show. My mother used to, for lunch, she would rip up strips of bologna and put them in a bowl and just give them to me and say, you know, put, put you in front of a TV set for lunch. We had a lot of kids. Serious? No, she's a good, she was a good, good mother, but there were a lot of kids running around, and she was off gambling all the time. <laughs> no, no. And, uh, but I remembered, uh, I remember just sitting there eating strips of bologna in a bowl and, and, and watching, uh, watching you on TV and, and having a crush on you. Oh, God. It's true. I'm so glad I could bring some sunshine into your life. <laughs> well, that's the sad thing, is that then, uh, no, I, I watched the, uh, the, the, of course, the Mary Tyler Moore show, and, and that ruined my, my dating habits. And, uh, How so? <laughs> well, because I watched a lot of TV, and I remember that night on CBS when, you know, your show was on and Bob Newhart's yeah. show. and That was just a great night of television. It that was. was an amazing night of TV, and I remembered my whole family would sit around and just watch. I think it started with All in the Family early in the evening and, and went and through Carol Burnett? The, I Carol Burnett. And uh, we'd just sit there eating strips of bologna. That's all we ever had. <laughs> ever had. These were hard times. This was the 1920s. And, uh, now, but we would, uh, we would watch that whole hour of TV and I, I never learned to, never learned to, you know, go out on a date Saturday night. Well, and also because you, you never found a girl who measured up to me. Right? Yeah, that's right. Isn't that no. really I did not. I did not. We're going to have to go away, but we'll be right back with more Mary Tyler Moore.
Mary Tyler Moore is here. I'm having a good time. I hope you are too. I hope. Hey! Hey! You better be as good as Letterman! <laughs> well, I'll, I'll give it my best shot. <laughs> guy's gonna hound me throughout the run of this show, I think. Such a cutie. <laughs> but, uh, but you look good. Thank you. Well, Thanks. what's your secret? What's the... Well, I don't know. I don't know if there's any secret. I like, I like clothes, but I don't like to make a big deal out of clothes. God, the other night I was at a party and uh, Terrence Trent Darby, do you, do you know who he is? Yeah, the singer, yeah. Yeah, well, he was sitting next to me and he was going on about what I was wearing and what he was wearing and in such detail. And I finally had to say, bug off, Terrence. I don't want to learn, hear about your stupid hat. Yeah! <laughs> this crappy sign, oh. and Andy gets a mint. Oh, thanks for the mint, Mayor. I love this job. And this is, uh. it's, it's just your second night. And, <laughs> yeah, that's and right. Have moments like this. Who'd have thought? This is great. You can't fake these moments. No, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> that's the theme here. No, but, uh, no, but uh, thank you for committing to our insane bit. It was my uh, pleasure. And, uh, I worked on this for two days. Bug off, Terrence. I don't want to hear about your stupid hat. And still, I muffed it. Just a little no, bit. No, no. You, hear? you did great. You did oh, great. Right, thanks. So, uh, <laughs> did, uh, but, but it, you, we were doing a bit there, of course, but, uh, you do look good, and I understand you, you did an, you're doing an exercise video, is I, right? uh, yes, I just did an exercise video. It won't be out until, uh, about a year from January, because they're doing a lot of production on it, and it's going to be sensational. It's, uh, it's 30 minutes of um, aerobics, 30 minutes of body sculpting, as they call it. And right. then the most interesting part, I think, is 30 minutes in the park where we show you how you can use just everyday things to keep in shape. You can walk up steps if they are the incline of a hill. You can, you can grab a tree, lift your leg. You I, I do well, a lot of exercise. No, 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 no. I don't, I don't, no, 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 no. You can hold on to a tree right, while right. you're doing leg lifts. <laughs> No, I do a lot of exercises right here behind the desk. I do you? I've been noticing. Yeah, yes. I flex my buttocks constantly throughout the show. It's great, it's isn't it? It's my secret. Some yeah. That's why I appear so calm on camera. Because <laughs> I'm flexing away. <laughs> I'm doing it right now. <laughs> is this creeping you out, America? <laughs> he is, yeah. I can see. No, I'm not. <laughs> oh, I'm not. <laughs> Andy, I have to ask, did you have a crush on, on Mary when you were watching TV Why as a did? child? Why did? Why the past tense? Do you have a crush on Mary? <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm sorry, Mary. I, I had, I actually, from the Dick Van Dyke show, I had a crush on Sally Rogers. <laughs> but I, and I, I think it's because her voice sounded like my dad's. <laughs> Oh, that's such a weird... They're I don't know what that kidding. means. <laughs> I don't know either. So many disturbing... <laughs> Continue with your interview. Thank on. you, Andy. <laughs> but, uh, so this exercise video, yes. it's going well? Yeah, it is. What we... made you think of an exercise video? Um... <laughs> Come on, all these celebrities do exercise videos. Well, I Why? know, but I thought, well, because I have a dancer's background. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I thought, well, I better do it now while I can still hold in my stomach. And I think I've got, between now and next year, I may be able to carry it off. Um, did you begin as a dancer? I started as a chorus so, dancer. You used to, yeah. uh, you did a lot of dancing actually in the Dick Van Dyke Dick, Dick uh, show. The Dick Van Dyke show. Yeah. show, yes, we did. We danced and, um, and I thought I'd bring some of my knowledge of what is good about dance and what is bad about dance. And we know so much about it now We're from right. the... President's Council on Fitness and um, Sports Medicine and the studies they're doing. It shows that you don't have to do more than about a half an hour a few times a week to stay in shape. Right. So I'm hoping that uh, this will help people find somebody with whom they can identify and get out there and do it. Sounds good. Yeah. I won't, of course. I... No, I know. I don't expect you to. <laughs> I You're can't young. exercise. You're only 30 years old, is it, did you say? If these days, 30 is old. It is. Oh, God. <laughs> no, I walk around and all I see all these kids, these rock and rollers with their long hair and their crazy ideas. And I know. Yeah. 
You say, hey, old man. No, no, I guess it is to be on TV, and I look about 22. People Actually, keep me on you TV. look a lot older than 30. <laughs> In a very positive way. In a good way. way. Yes, in a good, in a way. good way. I think my voice is a problem. I've got an annoying voice. Don't I, America? <laughs> Yay! Annoying voice. All right, well, uh, listen, I want to thank you very much for coming on the show. I had a, a great time. Thank I guess you, you're going to move down the couch, but uh, thank you for coming. Oh, thank you for part. playing into our nonsense. <laughs> Sunday, September 19th, is the Juvenile Diabetes Foundation's Walk for the Cure. Oh. Call your local chapter for more information, and we will be right back. Thank you.